Unfortunately, COVID-19 is an illness that has caused death in more than 200 of our Shasta County residents. It is important for us to be sure that a person has in fact died from COVID before we, we report that to the public. And this is a very detailed process that we take very seriously. Cause of death investigations are systematic examinations and tell a specific story of what happened. So we compile everything from our investigation and we look at it together and ask, okay, did this person actually pass away from COVID-19 or did they pass away from some other reason and just happen to have COVID at that time? Shasta County Health and Human Services Agency epidemiologists and the Public Health Officer review county death certificates to verify COVID-related deaths. Potential COVID-19 cases require extra scrutiny as we determine whether someone has died from COVID. So when we receive the notification that someone has passed who had tested positive for COVID, we begin our process of investigation by requesting a death certificate. The causes of death are listed on the certificate, usually by the presiding physician for that individual, uh, someone who ultimately took care of the patient or oversaw all of their care. We review many items on a death certificate, including where the individual passed away, the underlying and immediate cause of death, and significant conditions that contributed but didn't result in the underlying cause of death for this person. We found that when COVID-19 is listed as the underlying cause of death, it's typically a textbook definition of COVID, as we're typically seeing a course of illness with conditions such as viral pneumonia leading to acute respiratory distress syndrome or other types of COVID-19 associated complications. For those individuals, our, in our investigation is very straightforward. We understand the disease progression here and it gives us a very clear picture of what's happened. When COVID-19 is not listed as the underlying cause of death, but we have other information that indicates they were diagnosed or treated for COVID around that time, we perform a deeper investigation. If someone has COVID-19 listed as either a significant condition or it is not listed on the death certificate at all, they just happen to have died while being positive uh, for COVID, we will still investigate those individuals. We actually investigate them further because we want to make sure that we're categorizing the person correctly, whether the death was due to COVID-19 or if it was due to some other cause. Then we look for anything else that would clue us in as to how the individual passed away. We request hospital records and labs for this individual. We even look at our own public health investigation records and we also look at their uh, medical history. We want to know if this person went to the hospital just before passing away, as well as what brought them there. For example, did Jane Smith visit the hospital because she had a cough and a fever? or did she visit because she broke her arm? Once we understand why they visited, we look at anything else that happened while they were there. After compiling this information, we make a recommendation as an epidemiology team and we hand it to our health officers. As epidemiologists, we are very familiar with how diseases spread throughout the community, but we are not doctors. So we work with the health officers to make sure that our recommendations are in line with their interpretation of the record. Once we come to a consensus, we will then report the death as a confirmed COVID death in our daily report, if it is COVID related. Anything unrelated will not be reported in those daily updates. To learn more about COVID-19 in Shasta County, including dashboards that feature some of the work done by our epidemiologists and data analysts, go to ShastaReady.org and click Data and Statistics.